Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today's gonna be a fun episode because I'm gonna be using Dr. Coven, Kavan. Okay, it, it's pronounced Kavan. That's how a guy in my comments has a friend that has the same name as Dr. Coven, and he said that's how he pronounces it. So I'm just gonna be calling it Dr. Coven. I know I've been calling it Kavan. Some people call it Dr. Kevin. I'm just gonna call it Dr. Kavan. Kavan. That's, I, I, it sounds weird, I know guys. It doesn't sound normal. A lot of people just call it Dr. Kavan, so if I switch to that, that is why. So, today, we're gonna be using the Dr. Kavan. <laughs> I already failed. Um, we're gonna be using Ice Shield ability, and we're gonna be using it with warriors to try to defeat bases that have Ice Shield. So it's like an Ice Shield versus Shield Generator challenge. Now, I should mention that my ice shield is level one. I know guys, it's probably one of the better abilities to upgrade and I will be upgrading it, but I, I don't want to upgrade it yet. I want to, I want to open up my trader crates and that episode is coming very soon guys. Just be prepared for that opening spree. We're getting there guys. We are getting there. I was originally going to do 300 tickets. Um, but Zmot or Zedmot, he already did it. So no, no shield, which means no go. Um, he already did it, so I didn't want to like copy him. So the way we're gonna be doing this, guys, is normally for a shield generator base, you don't want to just hit the core and power it down, or just try to overwhelm it with damage to try to defeat it. Normally, you'd want to take out the shield with Gumbo Energy or with your warriors. Um, but for the ice shield challenge we're not allowed to do that we have to try to power through the core and this is a very good base to start because we only have a level one shield and no ice so this is the easiest we're gonna come across in today's video and probably the only base like this now i should mention that i'm not the best with dr coven yet uh, i've been trying to get better with him but he, he's a little weird how he walks so he he acts like a medic or a support troop so he's gonna be following my troops all the way back up here um so there's really no point in me dropping him early it's not like a uh, shield uh, i mean it's not like uh battle orders or ever I, I should just say the name not the ability it's not like uh i keep forgetting i'm trying to focus here guys i'm trying not to peek too much we'll get a med kit down because i'm almost dead and my troops are going to group up and we'll flare to the headquarters and when they're about to step out, we we'll activate our ability. We have to shock. The shock launchers will activate our ability one more time. Get a couple more med kits down. So guys, I wouldn't recommend use... Okay, so there's a time to use ice shield. There's a time to use battle orders when you're attacking with warriors. And normally, you'd want to use ice shield if you don't want to have losses. Which is good for people who do not have endless reserves. But if you are attacking a base with high amounts of HP or has a shield that you want to burn the shield with your warriors, you should bring uh, Sergeant Brick with battle orders. That's the best combination if, if there's a lot of HP. But if you're just trying to defeat a base without any losses, then Dr. Coven's ice shield is for you. So we're gonna scout out Benny M33 here. We're stepping it up a little bit. He has one level two shield generator with a little bit of ice. Now guys, I don't know how well this challenge is going to go, but we are definitely going to try it because that is the whole point of the challenge. And the reason I'm not doing this on my confusion account is because I do not have a health statue on that account and it sucks. Playing with warriors without a health statue is the, one of the worst things ever, but on the flip side, my operation attacks, I can't say they're getting better because they're not, but my operation attacks are definitely uh, getting easier with without a health statue. Now I, now, I still have to watch out for like mines and stuff because the mines is actually a really big problem. And we'll flare... Mines on an on a on a core base or an operation base. I mean, so the nice thing about Dr. Coven is he's gonna stand up right below, and we'll activate our abilities, guys. I'm pretty sure he's not doing anything for my warriors because as soon as uh, as soon as I drop his ability, they're just all going to die, and I don't think we're gonna be able to beat this. I mean, the shields will break and automatically we'll lose. So we might have to come up with a different strategy here. Um, he's not working 
as well as I thought he would. I'm running low on gold, guys, so I'm just gonna glitch out this so I can see where my level five tribes are. And we're just gonna remove. I know this is not good, and I normally don't do it. I, I'll only uh I'll only remove a tribe when Okay, so there's nothing in there. I'll only remove a tribe. Okay, so we do have imitation game we can go against, but I still want to do. I'll only remove a tribe if I need a gold, and that's a nice thing. Uh, what what I mean by remove is destroy. So I don't want to run out of gold. We still have one more attack we can do. We're going to switch it up and go to another base. Guys, this sucks trying to defeat uh, these bases. Okay, so this one, uh, so there's just way too much HP and way too much splash damage around the headquarters, but I think we'll be able to do this one because my shocks will be when I shock to shock launchers, I'll actually be shocking the splash damage around the core. And that is what is killing me, the splash damage. Because as soon as my smoke wears off, my shield is activated, um, the splash damage around the troops will just destroy the shields. They'll instant break. Shields are good against single shot cannons. Um, I would say shields would be very good with scorchers maybe. I haven't tried it, but I would assume because it is able to tank doom cannon shots. So I would say if you're using a strategy that it, like cannons, boom cannons, and doom cannons are deadly against, I would say ice shield might be a very good strategy. I know a lot of people use it for RZCM. That's a never uh, good strategy. But honestly, uh, some guy in my comments said that Iron Will is better with RZCM. So I'm just assuming it's better because that's what some other YouTubers are using. Activate our ability. What sucks is, guys, um, my ice shield, I can't activate it when my hero is under smoke. Well, I can, and I do, but immediately the... Okay, so we're not going to do this either. You, you break the shield, and then you just die. Like I was saying, guys, I lost. Um, but well, like I was saying, I'm having a hard time staying on track today. I don't know why. My uh, Guys, we had the biggest storm outside. I, I'll, I'll try to post up a couple pictures. So we had a... Okay, so while I take down Imitation Game to get more loot back, this challenge isn't working. Ice Shield isn't working with Ice. It, it's it's not it's not very good against high HP bases, but I will post we had this big storm yesterday Or last night. It, it was huge. This is the biggest storm we've had in Wisconsin for a very long time um, And some people in Wisconsin might if if some of our viewers are from Wisconsin You guys might know what we're talking about. We're on the east west. We're on the west side of Wisconsin So we're like by the Mississippi and we have this little river that flows through our neighborhood, and it got raised. The water got raised, I would say, 20 feet or so. So that's how much rain we got. Now, to put things into perspective, the road I showed you earlier, that road was never covered before. And yesterday night, the road, the water rose up so much, it destroyed the road. And our bridge, we have a little bridge that goes across, and that got just, like, so much branches on. I'll try to put a screen up. I don't know if I have all of the pictures I took, uh, but, okay. I'm probably giving away too much personal information, but you know what? I don't care. I'm going to be going off to college in a couple days. So, <laughs> dang it. How? Okay, so if we can't defeat this, this will not be good. Um... So ice shields, yes, I do have my funny downloaded. It's kind of funny looking at ice shields because it looks like a mini shield generator, but it's so freaking weak. I wish it had more HP. The nice thing about ice shield, guys, is it truncates the damage. And what I mean by that is when a boom cannon fires, well, we'll just take boom cannon because they have a high DPS. When a boom cannon fires upon your ice shield, it hits your troop and the shield will break and the remaining damage from the boom shell will just disappear. It's nice when you're using scorchers or tanks or another troop combination that's uh, boom cannons, cannons that are sh single shot defenses are deadly against. I wanna see if uh, a grappler hook can take a troop that has an ice shield on. We're gonna test it out quick. This is not gonna go well. So we'll activate our ability here. We'll see if the Okay, so the grappler does take my troop when it has an ice shield. So what happens is the grappler damage will pretty much destroy the ice shield. 
And we lost our army, but it's okay. We'll be able to defeat it. The grappler damage destroys the shield, and then it will just pull it closer. So if you guys don't know, the grappler deals an initial amount of damage when it hooks onto someone. If you fire a hook at a human being, that person will feel a little damage. And it will be even worse when they pull them into it. <laughs> okay, why do I use human beings as examples? That's not... That's not okay. Hopefully we don't get ads taken off, guys. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Stage number six, guys. I've been failing imitation game <laughs> a couple times in the past couple, well, the past couple imitation games. I have three accounts and two of them I should be able to defeat imitation game every time on. But the problem is I mess up a little bit. I make dumb mistakes, I try to take it off energy and then I can't finish it, and then I forget how many attacks I have left, and by the time I realize it, I am dead. So, it's pretty much every week where I fail imitation game on one of my accounts, because I'm not paying attention. But, okay, let's, let's try to get this working. I wish, you know, stage number seven might have a shield generator, but uh, I wish that okay activated shield a couple times and it looks like they got even more power so does it give a shield around a shield that would be cool if like you activate it once it gives them a shield if you activate it again it gives them a shield around a shield and you could keep building it up that'd be awesome oh my gosh that'd be sweet anyway like i was saying i wish imitation game gave you a guaranteed crystal like dr t that would be pretty cool, and I forgot how many attacks I have left. I believe I have two left. Yeah, I have, I have two left. So we're going to use one attack just to clear, because I'm way too lazy, and I, I don't want to deal with mine right now. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll just clear a little bit, and we'll, we'll hit retreat, and we'll just defeat it nice and easy. Um, one attack left. What's kind of sad guys is one of the times I failed imitation game It was like two weeks ago, but what happened was I spent two attacks on stage six So I only had one attack left for stage seven So when I hit attack on stage seven, it was a hard stage seven. Okay, we'll activate our shields I was trying to defeat it with oh gosh. Okay, hopefully we <laughs> I was trying to defeat it uh, by powering the Okay, we might fail. Okay, good. I was trying to defeat it by just p destroying the core, hitting the core with everything I got, with a shield on, and I had bad orders, but it did not go as planned, and I lost. So, you know what? Imitation game, I, I always joke about it being easy, but then I go and fail, and then it's awful. So, we're going to do one more shield base to end off the video, because this is a shield generator video, and I got to show shield generator gameplay. Um, so we can get these in one shock. We'll drop a shock here, shock here. Okay, we're gonna try it. It's not gonna go well, but we're gonna we're gonna try it. We have to watch out for the grappler hook to make sure we don't get taken on a wild journey. Uh, poor poor Doctor Coven. And we'll drop a flare up here, guys. I've explained this many times. I, I try to keep my troops as clumped as possible, and the only way to do that is by flaring not to a building when you're flaring across the map, but by flaring just to empty land. Okay, we'll flare up here. We'll drop that. Oh, and I flared to the headquarters. That's not something I normally do either. So don't. Don't look at this video. I'll usually spend one more flare, one more extra flare to save my troops from spreading out. And we'll do that, that. Oh, we don't have enough for the last one. Okay, this might... Oh, and I forgot my ability. The whole point of the video, um, hopefully we, we are able to take it down. Honestly, guys, the ability isn't going to help much. But the problem is... They destroy the shield. My troops just don't have enough damage. And that's what Battle Orders does. It gives them enough damage to destroy the core. It kind of bugs me when people bring Dr. Kavan because it's not the best of boys. Just bring Everspark. If you got to power something down with high amounts of HP, just bring Everspark. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to drop a like. As always, if you guys have any more hero ideas for me to do kind of fun ones like this, let me know in the comments down below. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.